Hello students! Welcome to the video lesson intended for you, grade 7 students. I am your teacher, Teacher April. Hello everyone! So for week 4, we will discuss about addition and subtraction of polynomials. And these are the objectives for today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to A. Evaluate algebraic expression for the given values of variables. B. Add and subtract polynomials. Now, let us evaluate the following examples. To evaluate a mathematical process means to substitute the given values for each variable, then simplify. Number 1. Find the value of 3x plus 5 if x is equal to 2. The expression is 3x plus 5. Okay, so you are going to substitute the value of x which is 2. So this will become 3 times 2 plus 5. Then simplify following the MDAS or the PEMDAS rule. So you're going to multiply first before you add. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5 equals 11. So this will be your answer. Next number 2. Find the value of 6AB minus C all divided by A, B, C if A is equal to 5, B is equal to 3, C is equal to 10. Take note, if there is no symbol between a number and a variable, then the operation is multiplication. Again, you're going to substitute the given values for each variable. So we have 6 times 5, this is your A, times 3, minus 10, all divided by 5 times 3 times 10. So let us simplify multiplication first. We have 6 times 5 times 3 equals 90, minus 10. 5 times 3 times 10 equals 150. Then subtract 90 minus 10 equals 80 divided by 150. And then reduce the lowest term. Just cancel 0. So the answer is 8 over 15. Okay? So for your learning task 1, Find the value of the expression given the values of variable. So, we have numbers 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Now, let us consider the expression 5x squared minus 2y plus 7. So, 5x squared negative 2y and 7 are terms of the expression. Each of these terms are called monomial. So, in the first term, 5x squared, the symbol 2 is an exponent. An exponent is a symbol or a number at the upper right-hand corner of a variable or constant that indicates the number of times the base is used. The base is the repeated factor. So, in 5x squared, ang base natin ay x kasi inulit siya ng dalawang beses. In 2y, negative 2y, ang exponent natin is 1. So, ang base natin ay y. Okay? So, 5 and negative 2 are called numerical coefficient. It is the numerical factor in a monomial. While x squared and y are called literal coefficient. Ito naman ang literal factor in a monomial. And 7 is a constant. 
So, if the numerical coefficient is 1, it may be omitted. So, tinatanggal na. For example, x squared. So, wala kayong nakitang 1, pero nangangahulugan na ito ay 1x squared. Okay? So, terms with the same literal coefficients are called similar terms. For example, 3x and x. The literal coefficients are the same because they have the same variable. Next, negative 5x squared and 8x squared. So, the same literal coefficient since it has the same variables and exponent. Next is 5xy and negative 2xy. So, the same variables is also a similar terms. Since the terms are similar, it can be combined. So, po, pwede mong pagsamahin ang magkaparehas na literal coefficient. On the other hand, terms with different literal coefficients are called dissimilar terms. For example, 3x and y. So, tingnan mabuti ang literal coefficient. Magkaiba. Next, negative 5x squared and 7x cubed. So, the same variable but different exponent. Next is 3abc and negative 5ac. So, we have different literal coefficients. We cannot combine terms which are not the same. Okay? Okay? So, that is how you identify the similar terms and the dissimilar terms. Now, let us proceed with addition of polynomials. So, let's say, for example, add 4x squared minus 2x plus 5 and 7 plus 5x cubed plus 4x minus x squared. First, arrange the polynomial in descending or ascending order. So, titingin kayo sa exponent. For example, the first polynomial is already arranged in descending order. We have 4x squared, negative 2x, which is the exponent is 1, and the constant, which is the exponent is 0. The second polynomial is 7 plus 5x cubed plus 4x minus x squared. This will become 5x cubed minus x squared plus 4x, which is the exponent is 1, and 7, which is the exponent is 0. Okay? Then, combine like terms. So, pagtapatapatin ang magkakaparehas ang literal coefficient. Then, Okay? So, since wala kayo nakikita ang first term, i-bring down lang natin siya. Okay? And then, add following the rules in addition of integers. So, we have 4x squared plus negative x squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo, walang numerical coefficient, pero meron siyang 1. So, we have unlike sign. Positive 4 and negative 1. So, subtract the number and copy the sign of the greater absolute value. So, we have positive 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. Why positive? Because the bigger number is positive. Then, copy the literal coefficient. x squared. Next term, we have negative 2x plus 4x. Again, Unlike sign, subtract and copy the sign of the bigger number. We have 4 minus 2 is 2. Why positive? Because the sign of the bigger number is positive. So we have 2x. Copy the literal coefficient. Next is the constant. Combine positive 5 plus positive 7 equals positive 12. So therefore, the answer is 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 12. Next, number 2. 2x to the p minus 6x cubed 
minus 12x squared minus 4 plus negative 11x to the p plus 8x plus 2x squared plus 6. Again, arrange in descending order. So, we have the first polynomial, 2x to the p minus 6x cubed minus 12x squared. Then, we have no fourth term. So, leave it blank. Minus 4. Next, the second polynomial is negative 11x to the p. So, similar terms, dapat magkatapat sila. Okay? Minus o wala. So, leave it blank. Walang to the third power. Plus, 2x squared. So, dapat magkatapat yung parehas x squared. Plus, 8x plus 6. Okay? And then, add following the rules in addition of integers. So, let us add a numerical coefficient. We have positive 2 and negative 11. Unlike sign, subtract the number and copy the sign of the greater absolute value. So, 11 minus 2 is 9. Since mas malaki ang 11, ang 11 ay negative, copy the sign, negative. Then, bring down 6x cubed, negative 6x cubed. Then, we have also unlike sign. So, subtract and copy the sign of the bigger number. That is, 12 minus 2 is 10. Copy the sign of the greater absolute value, negative. So, bring down the literal coefficient. And then, bring down positive 8x. Then, simplify negative 4 plus 6. Positive. Two. So, therefore, the answer is 9x to the pip minus 6x cubed minus 10x squared plus 8x plus 2. Okay? So, this is how you add polynomials. Just follow the rules, especially the rules in addition of integers. How about subtraction of polynomials? Let's say, for example, subtract 4 xy plus 5x minus 7y plus 3 from xy minus 6x plus y plus 6. So, arrange the polynomials with the same literal coefficient. So, pagtatapatapatin ninyo ang magkakaparehas ang literal coefficient. So, in this case, subtracted from ang ginamit. So, kung alin yung huling binanggit, siya yung unang isusulat. So, we have xy minus 6x plus y plus 6 minus 4xy plus 5x minus 7y plus 3. So, ayan. Pagtapatapatin ang magkakaparehas ang literal coefficient. Next, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, yung papalitan natin yung 4xy plus 5x minus 7y plus 3. So, from subtraction, it will become addition. So, positive 4 magiging negative 4. From positive 5 magiging negative 5. From negative 7 magiging positive 7. From positive 3 magiging negative 3. Now, let us add following the rules in addition of polynomials. So, we have 1 plus negative 4. Follow the rules in addition of integers. That is unlike sign, subtract the number and copy the sign of the greater absolute value. So, we have 4 minus 1 is 3. So, since mas malaki yung 4, negative ang 4, kaya siya negative. Then, copy the literal coefficient x, y. Next, negative 6 plus negative 5, unlike sign, copy the sign, add the number. So, 11x. Next, positive 1 plus positive 7, like sign, add, copy the sign, add the number. So, we have positive 8y. Next, positive 6 plus negative 3, 
subtract and copy the sign of the bigger number, we have positive 3. So therefore, the answer is negative 3xy minus 11x plus 8y plus 3. Next, number 2, we have 1.5y cubed plus 4.8y squared plus 12 minus y cubed minus 1.7y squared plus 2y. So, ang first polynomial natin ay yan. Second polynomial is y cubed minus 1.7y squared plus 2y. Arrange with the same literal coefficient. So, arrange mo lang siya to the third power, to the second. So, wala siyang third term and then constant. Then, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, papalitan natin yung subtrahend. So, from ad subtraction, it will become addition. From positive y cube, it will become negative y cube. From negative 1.7, it will become positive 1.7 y squared. From positive 2, it will become negative 2y. Okay, so again, pagtapatapatin ang magkakaparehas ang literal coefficient. So, kung wala siyang katapat, so you need to bring down the term. Okay, so 1.5y cubed plus negative 1y cubed equals 0.5y cubed. Then, Positive 4.8y squared plus positive 1.7y squared equals positive 6.5y squared. Bring down negative 2y, bring down positive 12. So therefore, the answer is 0.5y cubed plus 6.5y squared minus 2y plus 12. So remember to follow the rules. Do not forget to change the sign of the subtrahend, then add or follow the rules in addition. Then it's time for you to answer the learning task number 2 in letter B, perform the indicated operation. So you have 10 items. Sana ay may natutunan kayo kung paano mag-add and subtract ng polynomials. Okay? Thank you for watching. Always remember, study with love, study with all your heart. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Stay safe. God bless.